Now this video suggestion comes from my baby sister, Crystal. Shout out to Crystal. I want y'all to listen to this video and you know I'm going to spill the tea, spill the honesty. So let's roll the clip. Men like to talk, we like natural women. We like natural women. Don't change yourself. Why are you changing yourself? Why are you changing yourself? Okay, cool. But then if you look at all of the likes and all of the stuff that you, all the girls that you think are fun, and all, all the stuff, they have BBLs, they have lip fillers, they have Botox, they have breast implants. They look like a crazy Coke bottle shape that your girl does not have. So how do you think that that makes your girl feel whenever you claim that you want all this natural stuff, including you do not allow your girl to get certain things done to herself to, that'll probably even make her feel feel better about herself and more secure in the relationship but you don't want that for her but you want to watch all these other girls Ooh, that's a lot there that's a lot and i spoke on this before but let's just talk about it so um as we heard we and we hear all the time i hear it all the time like i don't have any makeup just a little lip gloss and mascara but a lot of men say that they prefer me without makeup and then some men say that they don't care um, which I don't care what other men think. Like, I think when you get out that mindset, the process of chasing what men like, because really men like a lot of shit. I think where we start to get hurt at is that when we jump outside ourselves to fit what we think, what men think and like, like we think for them or like just go off one thing or one transactional mindset and it's just like okay i'm doing this i'm doing this i'm doing this and we still get fucked over it's just like it hurt us even more because we're stepping outside of our element just for a man so that's the first thing i want to say ladies we gotta start doing things for ourselves if you start doing things for yourselves you're going to attract a man that's attracted to what yourself but i say this all the time all the time all the time Cause the main niggas that I run into that's talking about, oh, I don't like my female natural. I don't like all that plastic stuff that we blah, blah, blah. Like she said, they be liking every other female. Every person they follow is plastic and fake. But here's the difference, ladies. Here's the difference. There is a difference from a man following plastic and fake and liking it versus only following plastic and fake and liking it and then you're nothing like that so like because we can't like put it in perspective for us like i like steak but i also follow pages that make pasta that make you know cheesecake like i don't like just one aesthetic or one type of food group and so men are not going to like just one type of steak to men like a lot of shit, like I said previously. But where it comes out proud of is when it's the only thing they like, when it's the only thing that they are on their social media for it, and it contradicts what they're telling you they like about you. Because here's the reality. If you're dealing with a man that says he wants his woman completely natural, but the only type of women that he likes, that he praises, that he reposted is completely opposite of what he's saying. It's because he don't want other men looking at you. I want to keep insecure men. That's an insecure man. An insecure man wants to keep you as unavailable and as unattractive as possible. He's attracted to that aesthetic, right? So he wants you to be the homebody, the the home, the homely, and there's a wrong with that. So ladies don't say like, oh, I'm trying to say you plain Jane, but he wants you to plain Jane because he's figuring, okay, I like the bitches that's done up with weave, makeup, lashes, um, tons of injections and stuff. So I know other men like that too. So let me tell the woman that I'm going to invest my time in, that I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. Let me tell her that I ain't really into that. So she can sing and be unattractive to men like me. So she ain't got nowhere else to go. So she ain't gonna have no options. And see, the problem with that is, again, other men like other shit. So while you're trying to protect yourself from being hurt because you're thinking, oh, she doesn't have all this stuff. I'm telling my mom, mom like that. I want her to be home by that. I want her to be like playing Jane stuff. There's another man that's appreciating everything you're saying that you don't like about your woman. 
There's always another nigga. You say you want your girl to have a bigger ass or a flatter stomach or a lighter complexion. There's always another nigga that loves her dark chocolate skin, that loves her medium-sized ass, that loves her little belly. There's always going to be someone that appreciates what you don't appreciate. So men still be getting fucked over, <laughs> but they're calling themselves trying to protect protect you from all the predator men but they're the predator men they're the same ones that in front of your face talking about yes natural queen yeah 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 but behind closed doors with they niggas they all like hey, we all say they all they all you know the sexy red the 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 young miami the kim kardashians the literally everybody summer walker they they all about that so <laughs> and that's just for insecure men like there are some men there are some men that really just prefer a natural woman but don't mind looking at a girl that is plastic and fake that's a that's another thing y'all gotta realize too that all because he's looking he he can have different things that he likes but he loves what you are offering, which is the natural. And that are, that is some men's case. Some men are literally just admiring. They're like, oh, that looks nice. But at the end of the day, I like, I like this, what I got at home. And again, that type of man is not going to only have just plastic, big booty females on his Instagram. Like, if you are saying that's what you like, then what you like should be what you like in on social media, you know? But I don't deal with that shit because I'm me 100% regardless. I ain't now nigga ever trying to change me. And if they did try and change me, I'm changing the locks. Like, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out the door. I'm myself authentically. Sometimes you're going to see me with my braids. Sometimes you're going to see me with makeup. Like, today, I, like I said, I got on lip gloss and mascara. Like, I do what Raven feels like doing. So, in turn, niggas want to be with that. The niggas that I attract is attracted to me you know what i'm saying so i don't have that issue of trying to fight back and oh you're doing this and that but you want to like i'm never a nigga i'm never looking at a nigga and asking him baby what you want think i should have my hairstyle like today like you don't like what the fuck come after this bunny or whatever but seriously it's nothing wrong with looking nice for your man but i tend to look nice for me and the men just like the shit you know what I'm saying? So, in conclusion, y'all, like, y'all let me know what y'all think. I said a lot. I totally feel what homegirls saying. Like, these niggas be contradicting themselves. A lot of times they be insecure. And, yeah, get you a nigga that like you. All of you. All 12. You got 12 different wigs. All 12 personalities. Get you a nigga that likes you. Cause I swear to God, whatever a nigga doesn't appreciate here, they're going to appreciate it somewhere else.